Well, mm -hmm. this is also someone so mm -hmm. uh, and a story that so many people are talking about. The Today Show's Janelle Jones back after the loss of her husband to brain cancer. Uche OJ died back in May at the age of 45. A young man. Now, this morning, Jones sat down for an interview with Savannah Guthrie for the first time since his death. It was quite touching. She opened up about how she's getting through this and how she's navigating her life now with three children who lost a father. I'm okay. Day to day, I'm okay. From a macro picture, how am I doing? My heart is shattered. My heart is shattered in a million pieces. The life that I've known since I was 19 is no more. I've always wanted kids and I have three kids of my own now and they've lost their dad and I'm their mom. It sucks. As she called her experience a beautiful nightmare. She said watching her husband fight for so long was heartbreaking, but the way he approached it made it beautiful. Jones returns to the show on Monday. The WRL documentary team has done extensive reporting on the uptick in young cancer patients. You can see their in-depth coverage by watching Diagnosis Young, the new face of cancer in North Carolina. Just go to the documentary section of WRAL.com. So Chanel Jones' husband was diagnosed with a cancer known as glioblastoma. It is the most common and most aggressive form of brain cancer, and it is rare in younger patients. WRL's health reporter, Grace Haba, spoke with local doctors who say symptoms also vary by age. Grace. That's right, Lena. Most patients with glioblastoma are actually 65 years or older, but as we see with Uche, it's very obvious that this disease can affect everybody, and Uche was just 45, as you mentioned. So glioblastoma is a cancerous brain tumor, a Duke health neuro-oncologist neuro says in younger patients, this type of brain tumor typically grows more slowly and seizures are the most common symptom. In older adults, the cancer can spread faster and also causes severe headaches from brain swelling. Now, other warning signs for patients include vision and mood changes. Regardless of age, though, the tumors are extremely difficult to treat because of our body's natural defense response to things like chemotherapy. In the brain is protected by what we call the blood brain barrier so it's you know we were developed like that so that toxin right infection poison will not damage your brain unfortunately it's preventing us to treat glioblastoma with most available drug for cancer Duke researchers, though, are working hard to change that each and every day. And just last year, the FDA actually approved a brand new drug for low-grade glioma based off of clinical trials done right here at Duke. Now, Duke's Brain Tumor Center sees about 1,000 new adult and pediatric patients with different types of brain tumors, including glioma, each and every year. Doctors say stories just like Uche's are so powerful, not just because they raise awareness about symptoms to look out for, but also because they let people know about the re very real research resources available right here, Lena. Gosh, the work they're doing is God's work. We just really need to cheer them on and, and root for them as they're trying to make a difference in so many families' lives. All right, Grace, thank you so much.